Hi everyone, Officer UFO1, and I'm going to do a tutorial on how to change your vehicle skins or textures. This is going to be the one that I'm going to show you guys how to do. It's um, the LSPD based Smith Falls um, by Rogue Thunder. And this is the picture you see when you click on it, so you might not recognize it, but um, that's the pack. That's what the pack picture looks like, which is kind of deceiving, because the vehicles are actually all white. That's the only one that you can get like with that texture, the K9 one. Previously did a tutorial on how to um, install Captain 14's LSPD vehicle pack, and this particular skin pack. Um, was designed uh, for Captain 14's LSPD uh, vehicle pack. So, um, for anyone that um, followed my tutorial and installed Captain 14's cars, uh, and you like this the, this texture pack, um, you can go ahead and put this, these textures on those cars. So, um, just click download. Uh, it's gonna look like this: LSPD Smith Falls based pack. You can just right click open with and you don't want to open this with open IV initially if you have another means of opening it like I do I have 8 zip light so I'm gonna open it in 8 zip light now if you don't have anything you can just click on search the store and it shows you all the things that you can get that are exactly what you're looking for to open the RAR files and a lot of them are free. Um, I got this one, 8 Zip Light, and it's it's free. So um, if you have to download 8 Zip Light or something like that, um, go ahead and do it. Um, right click on properties, make sure it's all unblocked and it's running properly. And then you can open up this file in with 8 Zip Light or whatever you're using. But you don't want to open it in OpenIV at first. Smith Falls. Okay, so what I did was I extracted the whole folder to my desktop. So basically, though, I right click, extract, desktop, and then I just extracted everything to the desktop. Um, we're going to be using OpenIV to um, change the textures. We'll open OpenIV. Wait do you guys see how easy this is going to be. You have to go to File, Edit Mode. Now the only thing that, that you need to know is the directory path. Um, so uh, like I was saying, so for the uh, LSPD vehicles, if you want to modify the the um, skins or the textures, so you, we're going to have to follow the correct path that I just mentioned, so it's mods, update, x64, DLC packs, and you go down to the LSPD pack, DLC, uh, x64 again, levels, GTA 5, vehicles, then you just click on this lspdpack.rpf. It brings up all the um these are all Captain 14's vehicles. If you can't find the vehicles, you're not going to be able to modify them. That's the bottom line. And so I showed you guys how to find these and so now there you can modify them. All you have to do is uh click on um texture dictionary. Fragment object is just a picture. And it doesn't you don't worry about that what we what we change is we change the texture dictionaries so you double click texture dictionary for and p for, we're gonna do the police one first and then um in order to change the like the skin or whatever it's called you go down to 
now the police vehicle in Captain Fourteen's um, pack, the first ve the f the first one is the Impala. So if you want to um, change the skin, you have to click on Impala sign. And and all the skins, it'll say sign one. So if it's for the Impala, it'll be Impala sign one. If it's for the um, Charger, it'll be Charger sign one. If it's for the Tahoe. It'll be, you know, something, whatever it is, and then sign one. That's the one that we're going to be changing. That's the only one we're going to be changing. And I'm not an expert on this either, so, I mean, I'm just telling you guys how I did it. But I'm sure that there's people that know how to do it better than me. I'm a, I'm a beginner. But I know how to do it the easy way, and I can explain it the easy way. So I think I'll be able to help a lot of people. So you just click on that and pal a sign. Replace. And then it, um, this pops up, and so I'm going to go to desktop. Uh, remember, we put the Smith Falls pack on the desktop, so I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to double click it. When I double click it, it opens it up. And so I would click in Pala, and look at the way that Rogue, Rogue Thunder did it. He, he did this better than anyone else. And believe me, I've looked through a lot of these, and look at how nice he, he made it like a child could do this. So for the first one, you just click in Pala, open, and when you open it, it's gonna a little thing's gonna spin around like that. And when it's done, just click save. And once you click save, that vehicle is now the texture is now changed on it. So all you got to do is X out of here. Start up your game. Go look at the vehicle, and you'll see the new, the new, um, the new uh, skin or or whatever. And like, then you want to do the next one. You want to do um, police two. Same thing. You just click on texture dictionary. Double click it. Go to find the sign, the one that says sign. And this is a charger, so it. It's usually under C. Ah, oh, there it is. C C H G R sign one. Remember, it's always sign one. So I click that. Replace. And I've already changed these, you guys. You you guys know that, so I'm not really changing them. I'm just showing you how to change them. Desktop, Smith Falls pack. Once you pull it up, it probably will stay in there. And now, at this point, you just click on uh, Charger, Sign, um, right here, Open. And, and, and he shows you, like, the Charger is Police 2, the, um, the Impala is Police 1, the, he makes it so easy, the, um, the Explorer, the 2013 is Police 3. And so you would just open. The thing will spin around for a second. When it's finished, just save. And when you click save, it sort of um, loads. And then after it loads, um, this screen pops back up. And you could just keep going. You could do go ahead and you could change um, police three. You could change police four. You could do all of them. And then when you're done, all you do is exit out like that and it automatically saves it and believe it or not that's how you change the textures and skins and um, I'm just gonna mention one more time if it's a sheriff skin that you wanna find um, or that you wanna change I'll actually sh let me just show you guys so it's easier But again, this only pertains to Captain 14's vehicle pack. I believe. I could be wrong. but So if, if you have Captain 14's vehicle pack and you want to um, change it, you would go... The location is mods... Uh, I mean, his uh, sheriff pack. Mods, update... Because it's a different location. So you go to um, X64... DLC packs... Instead of clicking on LSPD pack like we did b before, you go all the way down to Sheriff pack. And then um, DLC. 
X64 levels, GTA 5 full vehicles, sheriff, and now bang, all your your sheriff um, vehicles are there. And so you you would be able to do the same thing, and you could go ahead and you could adjust your uh, textures and skins. Um, I don't know where the F5. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. And then if you want to do the FIB pack by George, there it is right there. So you could click on FIB pack. It's actually right above the LS, uh, PD pack. So, um, uh, that's how you do it. And it's very simple. I hope, I hope that you liked it. I hope I help some of you. Um, if I do click like, subscribe, I will give you a shout out in my, my patrol videos if you subscribe. And thanks for watching.